Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with CruiseTipsTV.com and today we are packing for a Carnival Cruise. That's right. By the time you see this video, we will be on Carnival Panorama on a seven night cruise to the Mexican Riviera, but this video would be an excellent, excellent packing list for you if you're going to the Caribbean or any other warm weather destination. Now, every time we do a packing video, we like to do something just a little bit unique. And today we have added some really awesome value for you as you plan your cruise, because not only are we telling you and showing you what we like to pack today, but we have created a packing list, hallelujah, ah, on our website for you. So it's going to be linked in the description. You can't miss it. It's an article. So you're going to you know, be able to read a little bit about why we chose some of the things we're packing. You'll see some photos and the list will be kind of interspersed throughout the article for you. So you'll have a really easy reference point for this. Also, because when this comes out, we're going to be on a cruise, we would encourage you to get over to Facebook and Instagram and just search Cruise Tips TV. For Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash Cruise Tips TV. It is a page, not a group. And on Instagram, it's just instagram.com forward slash Cruise Tips TV. We will be sharing photos and live stories from the ship. So I think you're gonna love that. It's gonna be fun. So this is how we're gonna structure this video today. First thing we're gonna do is talk about the five things that are kind of different, pandemic, post-pandemic packing for a cruise, in our opinion. Then we're gonna jump right into what's different about this particular cruise uh, for Carnival Panorama, just for Carnival cruising in general. And because we've challenged ourselves to do a bunch of different things on this cruise, we've packed some different stuff. You're gonna laugh, it's pretty fun. So let's start with a, about five things that really are kind of different for packing during or post pandemic. The first thing I wanna draw to your attention is that we are printing virtually everything. Uh, it's funny because I feel like cruising technology has been progressing so well over the past few years where, you know, you would show up to the port and you would just scan your boarding pass and the pandemic has caused us to take a few steps back because now I feel like you have to print everything. You could show up with a digital boarding pass on the app. That's fine. But what we've learned from traveling over the last several months is that having printouts of things is really, really critical. And that could be um, anything from your you know, your clear COVID test to your boarding passes, whatever it might be, it's just easier to have it printed off. So that's something that we're doing. The number two thing that we're doing differently is we're packing face masks. Face masks are currently required on Carnival indoors. So that's something that we're doing. We're also packing our vaccine cards in these cute little badge holders, which I will link to in our cruise store. We've created a cruise store just for you at amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. And these can be found in the section called as seen in our latest packing video. So that's another thing that we're doing differently. We love protecting them in here because you're not supposed to laminate your cards. We're we're also, just like our last packing video, you may have seen our Royal Caribbean Adventure of the Seas packing video, we're, we're really focusing hardcore on hydration and immunity. So we are taking liquid IV with us. Liquid IV is a hydration multiplier. It's basically an electrolyte drink mix. And we're packing a bunch of this stuff with us. My husband likes the energy blend. I like the immunity. And I also like yellow cherry, their new flavor. And we have a discount code for you. It's cruise tips TV at the liquid IV website or a link in the description to get that discount code. But I think it's great. Um, the number five thing that we're doing differently is I'm actually going to be leaving my hat home because my new cruising tradition is to find a new hat on every cruise. I actually love this little Long Beach hat that I have, so it's gonna be hard not to pack it. I might sneak it in my bag at the last minute, but I am gonna buy a cruise hat. So those are the five things we're kind of doing differently. Number five really has nothing to do with the pandemic. I just kind of had to tell you guys, had to throw that in. Now, we're gonna talk about what's different for this particular cruise because it's Carnival, because it's the Mexican Riviera, and because we've challenged ourselves to do so many fun new things on this cruise. Then we'll go into some detail on clothing and toiletries. And at the very end, we'll show you what everything looks like in the suitcases real quick. So there's a whole bunch of different things that we're gonna do on this cruise that we've never done before. Part of the reason is because we may not be getting off the ship at all. So we're gonna try to make the most of sea days. One of the things that we're going to be doing on this cruise is hiding ducks. So Junior and Mr. Cruise Tips TV, we have a 3D printer in our home. They made custom 
ducks to hide around the ship. And we made little tags all by ourselves here at home that say, keep or hide, you decide, see you on the high seas, and then all the other things you're supposed to write on there for cruising ducks. So when someone finds these, they're supposed to take a picture of them, post them on social media using the hashtag cruising ducks, and it's really fun. So we have a couple of limited edition 3D printed Cruise Tips TV ducks that are going with us, and then a whole bunch of them that I also ordered from Amazon. Another thing that's different that I'm packing is this. Do you guys know what this is? This is a champagne or wine stopper. Now, I didn't get the drink package on this cruise, so I'm packing the allowable soda and wine, which in my case is Prosecco. I don't like wine, so I'm taking Prosecco to make like little spritzes with some some sparkling water, and this will help keep my Prosecco fresh longer. We're also taking soda on this cruise, which you'll see in our suitcases at the end. We're taking some Diet Dr. Pepper and some sparkling water because we're not getting the drink packages. The problem is those drinks are heavy and they're taking up almost our whole entire little suitcase. So another thing that's different, y'all, is I'm going back to my large suitcase. We're not doing carry-on only necessarily. And this huge suitcase is coming along with me. I took that one on our Royal Princess uh, cruise back in 2019 and I'm doing it again. So for those of you who are like, oh, I'm so tired of you guys always packing carry-on only, you get a break this time. Okay, now this next thing is really fun that we're doing differently. Carnival has theme nights, y'all. They have an 80s night and they have a white party. So I have packed some theme items for myself. This is my stuff for the 80s night. I've got this in our Amazon store for you in our, I think it's in the cruise fashion or as seen in our latest video in the link, uh, in the link below. But these are fun, these are little gloves, very Madonna. They have them in other colors, this is a headband. And we also bought some glow in the dark 80s style bracelets. They're like neon white light sensitive bracelets. So that should be pretty cool. And that, the thing I like about that stuff is it doesn't take up a lot of space. Like you can put that in your suitcase and wear it with just whatever. So I'm gonna wear it with like a black shirt and some jeans shorts. I also found this really cute. I love the 80s shirt on Amazon and these wacky necklaces. So we'll take those. If you wanna see what Mr. Cruise Tips TV and Junior got, you'll have to stay tuned and watch our vlogs because this is gonna be a fun one. I also got a white dress for this one on Amazon, which I will pop in my cruise fashion store. It's really pretty. It's um, kind of a three quarter sleeve with a really pretty tie back and it's an off the shoulder dress. So I'm gonna wear that for the white night on Carnival, that should be really cool. Okay, what else is different? Ah, yes, I just figured out a really big one. We're driving to our Carnival cruise, so I'm not taking a flight bag. Instead, I'm just going to pack a backpack this time. So I found this Venture Pal backpack on Amazon in this black leaf color, which I've linked for you below. It's in our shop, you can't miss it. And this will just be what we use around the ship. I don't think we're gonna be going ashore at all. So this is gonna be the backpack. I'm thinking this is what we're gonna do. Okay, a couple toiletry differences that I wanna draw your attention to. And that first toiletry difference is that we are taking full-size sunscreen. I'm so happy that we're not flying this time because I'm, I don't have to buy my sunscreen on the ship. I can take full quantities. So let me show you a couple of the brands that I have packed. I've got some Neutrogena in here. I know we're jumping into a little bit of toiletry action right now. I have some Sunbum spray. And I have my new favorite sunscreen brand, which is called Super Goop. The brand that I love from Super Goop, excuse me, not the brand, but the, the formula that I love the most is called Unseen Sunscreen. So I've linked that, but this is a nice little, this is a starter kit. If you wanted to try something like this to try the brand, you would get a makeup setting spray, um, the face and body lotion and the unseen sunscreen, which is 100% invisible. Also for the face, I got this beautiful Avene SPF 50 plus, and that's gonna be really awesome. I actually have more sunscreen in another bag, but that's a huge difference that I wanted to share with all of you. Another toiletry difference this time around is that I am actually going to be taking my own hand soap. So if you see over in the corner of this bag, I have a big old hand soap. This is a splurge when we're driving to port that we don't always get to do. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. We're gonna come back to what's in my toiletry bags in just a few moments, but since we're talking about the differences on this cruise first, 
Just wanted to kind of get through the differences first, then I promise we'll go back to the toiletries. In the accessory department or our stateroom essentials department, I actually packed a pretty big bag of stuff this time. I'm bringing back the wall magnets. They're coming with us. On our last cruise, we didn't take any magnets and I think it'll be nice to hang our hats, our face masks, whatever it is, our lanyards with our cruise cards by the door and have those magnets. I also have um, a small purse in here to take to dinners and I have some sticky notes in here. So that's what's in my stateroom organization bag, as well as uh, something to, to hold my towel onto my lounger by the pool. If it gets windy, those are always really nice to have. So a little bit more stateroom organization stuff. Lanyards for the whole family are in here. And that really kind of wraps up what's in our stateroom essentials bag. Another thing that's hugely different about this particular cruise is that I'm taking a laptop. I've never taken my computer, but I bought this really pretty um, laptop case to take it in. The reason that we're taking my laptop is because we are going to do something so different on this cruise. We are going to be doing live trip reports or trip diaries every single day. So at the end of every day or the next morning or whenever we can get it done, internet, you know, internet pending, we're going to be telling you what we did the day before sharing photos and doing some cool things like telling you our drink of the day, things that we missed out on that we wish we could have done, dining highlights, venue highlights, and my laptop's going with me. So let's all, oh, let's all hope that we have great internet on this cruise because I'm so hoping that we get to use it and do those trip reports. So that's um, a good look at kind of some of the major differences for this particular cruise. Let's go back and talk about toiletries and then we'll move into clothing because I know that that's kind of a fun thing is to look at some of the clothing. So I have a lot of toiletries that I'm taking with me and even though we're not flying, I've consolidated all of my toiletries into two TSA appropriate bags. And so basically, Everything that's in here is on that packing list that's on our website, okay? So if you need to, if you for some reason lose track of the link in the description, just go to our website, cruisetipstv.com and search Carnival Cruise Packing List or Carnival Packing List and it will come right up. But let me tell you what's in here. So I have more of that unseen sunscreen from Supergoop. I have day cream, night cream, a little bit of detergent in case I wanna do laundry more sunscreen, Moroccan oil for my hair, deodorant, face wash, antibiotic cream in case somebody gets a cut. My son or I always end up getting cut up. So I think that's everything that's in that one. And then what do we have in this one? My husband's shaving cream, antibacterial hand gel, some eye drops, some lotion, hair gel for my son, and I have shampoo and conditioner, and the hand wash. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to show you in this one, and that is that I did pack a matching um, hand lotion to go with the hand wash. I know, it's very splurgy, y'all, and I also have a bottle of perfume in there. I just saw that. So, again, we're not packing light this time. I know that you're used to seeing us pack very minimalist, but this is a nice change for those of you who are like, look, I don't wanna pack like that. So I hope that you're enjoying Sherry Gone Wild on <laughs> this packing. I also, I have more toiletries as if that weren't enough, packed into my e-bags packet flat. I love this thing, I leave it packed all the time. I never take stuff out of it, I only add things to it. So essentially what I have in here are toothbrushes and toothpaste. And I have razors, combs, all of my hair accessories, another thing of deodorant, a bar of soap. I have floss. And then in these outer pockets, I have things like Clorox wipes for stateroom cleanliness. And I have baby powder in case we go to the beach and get sand on our um, feet, which we probably won't do. I have some pain reliever and some very basic medications in there too. The medications we outline in the packing list. So you can check that out on, um, on the website. Okay, let's move that out of the way. We're done with that. I also packed an entire mesh bag of Santa hands. Santa hands are our favorite way to keep our hands clean and sanitized in between hand washings on a cruise. These are wonderful. They're also in our store. This is what I keep my jewelry in. I know we're gonna move past toiletries now, go into kind of accessories and clothing. So that's where we're headed right now. This is a jewelry roll. These are great to put all my bracelets, necklaces, and any kind of jewelry accessory right into this. Roll it right up and it all stays nice and safe. I don't pack any valuable jewelry with me other than my rings, um, but other than that, I use costume jewelry just for fun. When we actually leave, 
for the cruise, which we haven't yet. We're still doing another, you know, week or so of work in life. Cosmetics are all gonna go in here. And my curling iron is also gonna go in my suitcase. I haven't showed you the curling iron today because it's in my bathroom. I'm using it all the time. Also, we're taking a pop-up hamper on the packing list. We won't let you forget that. And my favorite little tech accessory organizer from Travelon, also linked in our shopping list and on the website. All of our cables, all of that stuff is in here. My husband is taking a camera bag or a camera backpack with his necessary chargers, camera equipment. We actually film with relatively simple camera equipment. Um, we've got some cool DJI products that we're taking on this one, a GoPro. We use our mobile phones more than anything else for vlogging though. We just have the pretty much the latest Apple iPhone product all the time if, as we can. And we film with those and everything else is just a bonus on top of that. So if you're thinking about taking some vacation videos, don't be afraid to use your phone. Um, just make sure you turn it horizontal in case you're doing TikTok or Instagram, and then you want it vertical. Okay. So let's talk about some clothes here. I'm gonna talk about the most awkward purchase that I made in the clothing department for this cruise, and that is a new stick-on bra. Ladies, these are a lifesaver. Gentlemen, if you wanna cover your eyes or close your ears right now, I know, it's kinda nasty. Um, these bras are, they're not good for every situation, but if you've got a strapless dress of some sort that just really needs uh, special type of bra, these will come in handy. Believe me, I don't use these very often because I need a little more support than that. But hey, um, being totally honest about this kind of stuff, I got that on Amazon. I think that um, I think that I've linked this in the cruise fashion section on our web on our Amazon store. But if not, you can just search for stick on bras on Amazon and you'll find it. Okay, let's talk about clothing for just a brief moment. I want to direct your attention to the packing cubes back here. These are my new pink striped packing cubes, which are in our As Seen In store. In here, I have all of my workout clothes and all of my pajamas, and these are underwear, bras, and socks, and this is yet to be filled. This is actually just the rest of the packing cubes, so that all that stuff is in there and already packed. And let's go through what we're taking in the clothing department. This should be really cool. A lot of this stuff is, in, is on Amazon for you. This bathing suit cover-up that I just got, I have it in two colors. I'm gonna be taking this color and leaving this one home. These are awesome. They're relatively short. They're kind of crocheted feeling and just really flattering for a lot of different shapes and sizes and cute over the top of a swimsuit. So have to narrow down which one of those I'm gonna take. I also have this little swimsuit cover up. Haven't decided if I'm gonna pack it yet, but I got it on a lightning deal on Amazon and I just love it, so I'm thinking about it. Another great product that I got on Amazon this time is this dress. This is actually quite long, it's full length. I know you can't see it here, but hopefully you'll see it when I'm on the cruise. We try to take photos of me wearing everything, but this is just a cute, very Mexican Riviera type dress that I love and I love the pink. I also have this shorts romper. By the way, everything that I've showed you so far, I bought on Amazon. Do not be afraid to try clothes on Amazon. Send them back if they don't work out. And the cool thing about Amazon is that over time, it starts to suggest your size. As you buy things, it knows what size will work best for you based on customer reviews. It's really cool. So anyhow, this little shorts romper is also just super adorable. This is a halter neck type romper, and this one comes in so many different prints. It's a little bit bold for me, but I thought it would be kind of fun for vacation. This is my favorite item that I bought on Amazon for my cruise, and this is from a company called R. Vivimos on Amazon, and has some really pretty front detail. It's a bit plungy in the front, so this sticky bra might come in handy on that one. The sticky bra is definitely going to be worn with this Amazon dress because it's backless, and it's, I'm gonna need a little bit of help with that. So we have that. We have the 80s shirt, which I'll link to, of course. That's also Amazon. And the last Amazon item that I have is this pretty new dress that is, it's not on a hanger, so it's a little bit difficult for me to show you, but it's kind of a strappy, stretchy, it's not cotton, but it's, it feels cottony, kind of a little sundress. So I bought this in yellow and pink, and I'll probably take just one of those colors. Uh, next up, I have a series of like swimsuit cover-ups that are coming up here. So this is a swim cover-up. Got that. I've got the yellow O'Neill swim cover-up that's no longer available anywhere and a swimsuit. 
I bought the same O'Neill cover-up in white with another Old Navy swimsuit. So those are just a couple of my cover-ups. And this Trina Turk cover-up that I got, uh, I got it a few years ago at TJ Maxx. And had I known what a great value it was, these things are hundreds of dollars on the Trina Turk website when you can find them. Can't find that anymore. I would have bought every single one of them because everybody loves that cover-up and they're really hard to find. Anyhow, I wanna show you what I'm wearing for formal nights on this cruise. I bought this dress two years ago, and as you can see, the tag is still on it. It's bar three from Macy's. I never got to wear it. It's a really pretty, bold, bright orange, long dress, kind of ruffly on the bottom. So I'm wearing that for formal night with a statement necklace and some blingy shoes. Blingy shoes are here. They are Michael, cores but they are so old they're probably five years old i don't have a link but these are what they look like and my second formal dress is from express several months ago i don't think it's still available but it is this cute off the shoulder mini dress that i really love i love off the shoulder stuff so you'll often see me wearing it and then just a series of a few more dresses i'm also taking more shorts than usual on this cruise, I have three pair of shorts here, a, few, a little ripped up pair of denim shorts because it's carnival, it's fun, it's relaxed. And a few pairs of white shorts and some casual tops. I found this little lucky brown top at TJ Maxx last weekend. So that's pretty much all of the clothes I'm taking. Now keep in mind, I have more t-shirts and workout wear that I'll wear all the time. Like when we're doing the sky ride, casual, casual stuff that I haven't shown you because it's already packed is there. I'm not gonna wear dresses 24 seven. I'll be wearing shorts and workout wear and swimsuit cover-ups during the day. And then the dresses are mostly for the evenings. Okay, on to Junior's clothes really quickly. I have a whole bunch of little short sleeved shirts for him for dinners. I think I have, I have four of these. And then for formal night, kid is growing like a weed. Our 12 year old son will be wearing this little, <laughs> this little linen jacket with some black dress pants and we're just gonna put him in a black collared shirt underneath it, no tie this time. And I think we're just gonna do another iteration of this for the second formal night. So I'll probably just swap in one of the other shirts or he can wear the same thing. He's a kid, he's not gonna be wearing his formal night clothes for very long. For my husband, he, and I don't have a lot of links to these shirts, most of them are from Stitch Fix. Um, he's taking shirts like this for most dinners. I'll show you these really quickly. This black one, I do have a link for a couple of things which will include this shirt is from Amazon and you can see that it has this really unique detail inside and also that detail can be found here. This is a beautiful shirt from Amazon that he'll wear with like jeans to dinner. These are his formal night shirts that he'll pair with slacks and a tie and these are the most amazing Amazon Essentials dress slacks, flat front slim fit dress slacks for men that we will link to, and he's gonna wear those for formal nights and other regular dinners. So, that was everything, y'all. We are going to give you a quick look at everything packed into the suitcases, and we'll come right back, so take a look. Okay, so we hope that this video was super helpful for you. Just a reminder, you're gonna to wanna to follow us on social media this next week. Go to Instagram or Facebook and just type in Cruise Tips TV and make sure that you're giving us a follow, send us a message, let us know if you're gonna be cruising on Carnival anytime soon or Carnival Panorama and be sure to check out our packing list on the website that includes all of this stuff in it. Thanks so much for watching everybody and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.